I'm Anders Gyllenhaal, the Herald's executive editor with today's Inside the Newsroom. For an understanding of what's happening in Haiti at a pivotal time, you only need to track the hectic week that Miami Herald Caribbean correspondent Jacqueline Charles has spent in pursuit of two very different stories. The first, which runs on the front page of the Sunday paper this week, is about one of the most encouraging international projects to come along in years, the construction of a group of townhomes in a border town that sets a whole new standard for quality. The second, unfolding throughout the week, is the story of how yet another prime minister has lost support in the midst of an emotional debate in Parliament as competitors jostle for position with an eye on next year's national election. To Jackie Charles, Haiti's most veteran foreign correspondent, who has been covering the country for years, these two developments sum up where things stand in the struggle to pull ahead out of a string of natural disasters and setbacks in the country. As she puts it, quote, it's one step forward and three steps back. This is also a good time to recognize the importance of consistent and relentless reporting on a topic with enough subplots to confound the standard journalist, which Jackie surely is not. A natives of Turk and Caicos who spent much time in Haiti growing up, she first started covering the country for the Herald as a high school intern. While handling assignments from education to politics over the years, she always helped out with the big Haiti story until she took on the beat full time three years ago. Today she plays a singular role at a time when many eyes are focused on Haiti. Former President Bill Clinton was only half joking during a recent visit to Haiti as a United Nations Special Envoy when he turned to Jackie in a crowd of people and said, I just do what she tells me I should be doing. Jackie's five stories over the course of this week show that there is much to do and much that rests in the hands of Haiti's leadership, finally getting strong support from abroad. Her reporting sounds some encouraging notes that suggest there are now some rare opportunities for progress that probably haven't existed in decades. And Jackie will be there to chronicle every step. In fact, even after dozens of visits to Haiti over the past two years, she often takes her vacations on the island, and when she does, she avoids the hotels popular with tourists and stays with relatives. She says, quote, I want to always be reminded what it's like not to have electricity, not to have anything, she said. That's when you realize why people are using the charcoal and why they're cutting down trees, why things are the way they are in Haiti. So you'll want to pay close attention to her work. And once again, thank you for your letters and emails and calls. We appreciate your reading the Miami Herald and your logging on to MiamiHerald.com.